This video will cover stab line support for Chivalry 2 Strategies, the video game. I'm SC Coleman, and I have content available that you can check out, and I'm an author. In this strategy, we're going to first find the front line, which is the collection of your allies, but specifically where all the heavy ar heavily armored knights and other classes are. And what you want to do is fight behind the front line. You are selecting the character with less armor, so you want to be behind them. And you want to move in and out, stabbing with either a rapier or a spear for the man-at-arms class. And uh, in this strategy, you're essentially ducking in and out behind the heavily armored meat shields of the knights. The spear and rapier are important for this purpose because they, the spear has a long stab and the rapier is really fast. Now, if you get pressed forward by uh, an aggressive opponent, you want to draw them back into your back line so that they can then get taken out by your allies without any support from their own allies. Now, there's a couple things to watch for when you use this strategy. You should look for opportunities where you can flank the line. You might die doing this, but you will be able to disrupt their their own front line and collapse it on the right. You should also watch out for catapults because you are fighting right behind the front line. You will likely be targeted by catapults being in the vicinity of where those things usually fall. Another thing to watch out for is fire, which is used a lot with the fire, fire pot. Because you're fighting right behind the front line, you'll get attacked by fire a lot. And you don't have as much armor, so you can't withstand it as well. Now, one thing to really avoid in this is team damage. It's a little bit more difficult with the strategy because you will have your allies moving in front of you during an attack. And it's uh, something to really avoid because if you do team damage on your front line, then you will reduce your front line thus reducing the protection that they provide when you're using this strategy. It's a very good strategy because you don't have to think a lot, you don't have to work a lot, but you really want to stay behind the front line because if you get out in front of the front line, then you will get killed. Now, if you come into a situation where there is no front line, essentially it's all enemies and none of your own uh, allies, then you should run away and go and look for that front line. 